So what's up guys and welcome back to my channel today. I'm coming from Rwansha where I'd gone to Mpongwe and Rwansha. I hope there is, uh, the wind is quite uh, bearable. I hope you are hearing me loud and clear. In today's video I just want to wrap up my um, copper belt tour just for two places from Pongwe and um, Luansha. 10 strange things you didn't know about Luansha. That's the video for today. 10 strange things you didn't know about Luansha. And those are the things that I've, um, I've tried to put down. Did you know that the popular musician who was there in the 80s, we used to listen to an old, old guy. Uh, I think I've told you about that. There is uh, a popular song we used to hear too. Something like that. That song was done by Laban Kalunga. That guy came from Luansha. Yes, that is fact number one. Number two, uh, did you know that um, uh, in the year 19... Yeah. In the year 1927, there was a, an explorer, a British man. These were colonizers, as usual, who were in Zambia. By then, by the name of William Correa, is the one who went hunting to Luansha and he, he shot a, an Aaron antelope. So that animal, an antelope. So after shooting it down, then he went to like when he went to pick it up where it fell down it was on a rock and that is how he discovered that there were copper deposits and that was the beginning of mining in Rwanda. okay number three let's talk about uh, of all the places i've been to lusaka uh, to the other parts of the copper belt have been to Livingstone. I discovered that Luansha has got the cheapest, cheapest of the cheapest residential areas in terms of rentals. Apart from rentals, plots are equally very cheap. Uh, also, buying of houses is actually very cheap. It is the cheapest place I have ever been to anywhere I have gone. Uh, in Zambia. So Luansha happens to be the cheapest of the cheapest. Everything, accommodation is really cheap. But uh, I didn't see that matching with the rentals of like lodges and hotels. They are not so cheap. Number four, Luansha is said to be, they said, the gated city of Zambia, uh, which I really don't believe. In. Although, yes, when you are coming from Kitwe, you are entering the, the Ndola, there is like a city gate. When you are entering that place, there is a city gate which welcomes you to, you know, which will come you to, to Luansha. So, when you hear gated community, I used to think Luansha is a gated community. When I went there, I thought that the entire Luansha is gated. That is not just the entry, entry only. By the way, the point where I said this William Koira uh, killed or he shot an Ron Antelope, which became the name of the mine, Ron Antelope Mining, you see? The same place. What surprises me is that uh, if you go there today, you will not even see one an antelope. Uh, they are already in extinction, and I'm sure because of people started mining, housing started coming in, they killed all the animals, but... The good news is that my name is Travel Tenement. What I do is travel around Zambia. I want to assure you that Zambia, we still have uh, 20 national parks, 35 game management areas. We still have um, animals in place in our country which have been kept for you people to come and visit the parks and uh, see the animals we have in our great country yes so we still have animals in zambia but in that particular place the own mine the own uh, place the animals are not there they are not there in fact there is no even a park in Rwanda. okay number five just like i told you of diversity i've been to 
Western province where I found Lozi, I went to Kipata, I found the Ngonis, I went to Petauke, I found the Nsengas. Um, here Lusaka, although we speak Nyanja, this is a, a typical land for these people from Chongwe. Yeah, so this is uh, not really a Nyanja land, but uh, the people from Chongwe, they are the real owners of Lusaka. I went to Central Province, it's the place for the Langes. Copper Belt, where I went to Pongwe, it is typically a lumber land. But Rwansha, what surprises me was just driving 30 minutes. 30 minutes drive from um, Pongwe to Rwansha, the language had already changed. Although Rwansha still happens to be a lumber land, um, there is really not lumber. There is like Bemba, Copper Belt, there is a Bemba kind which is found. I went to Northern Province, I still found the typical original Bemba, yes. Six, did you know that Luansha has got, uh, there is a place where I dropped off, for example, when I was on a bus, when I dropped off, there is a place which is known as the first class. So the first class is the another area which is fairly more developed than the other areas. And then uh, you find, if you find a hotel, it's more expensive. Then there's another place you move like a kilometer or two. It is known as the second class. The second class accommodation is even cheaper and that is where I even opted to go. You know I'm cheap because I can't afford the expensive. Otherwise, I will not have life at the end of the day. I will start later on. But I'll always give you, not always, sometimes when I find a place like the way I did in Livingstone, I'll find you the one which is very affordable, I'll also show you the one which is uh, expensive. You may make it because it's a one-off or you're only coming for once, but for me, I always stick to what is cheaper as long as I put my head to sleep so that I continue to make more videos for you guys. So you saw you guys as usual. Don't feel shy. Don't feel that you have neglected me if it is in your power. Sponsor any of my trips. Thank you for those who have been doing that for so long a time and I really appreciate. Okay. So, yeah. So, like I'm saying, Luansh has got the first class, second class area. The second class area, I remember that is where I went. And this place was all made by the British, our colonizers. They are the ones who colonized, made the first class and second class. And it is said that the first class, the workers, the blacks, Zambian, the black Zambians who are working in the in the Rhodesia during the Rhodesia time, those who are working in the first class and second class, the workers we are not even allowed to mingle as well. So that is how uh, the the whites who operated the divide. Uh, divide and rule game okay number seven okay so the name itself the name luansha uh, luansha it comes from the word of an ant antelope in typical zambian an antelope is known as insha uh -huh. insha that's the name of an antelope so that's where the name came from the insha so insha it means the uh, uh antelope so that's where it came from and remember like i told you uh, it was discovered in the year 19... Okay, it was discovered in the year 19... William Poira. Yeah, like I already said, who shot an antelope. Okay, did you also know that um, former Minister of Justice, uh, who was also, who later became Vice President of Zambia, he was member of Parliament for, is it Serenje? Uh, George Kunda, his owner, the Vice President, George Kunda, he was also... Uh, justice minister once he was also born in Rwanda. remember i've also spoken to other people like Chimbakambwiri, but george kunda is known to have lived uh there okay the same uh Luansha is the same place where yeah i mentioned of laban kalunga the musician who was also born there this is our Zamb zambia one of zambia's best footballers we have uh, Colin Zimbesuma is still playing professional football in South Africa. He is also from um, the Rwanda. So Rwanda has produced a lot of uh, great people. Then number 10, last we may say, uh, number 10, did you also know that uh, Rwanda 
was popularly known as the Garden of the Copper Belt. I believe it had a lot of gardens and a lot of greens. Did I see it when I went? It's almost gone, guys. Almost the better days have gone. But I mean, it is what it is. I have to do my job and show you all that. Yeah, I have to show you everything about it so that you have an idea about everything. Okay, guys, for now, let me say I appreciate you for coming. Please, if you are new on my channel, please do me a favor. Subscribe, turn on bell notification. Give this video a thumbs up. Please, if you can, support me. Consider supporting me. I always love you. Communicate with me through my YouTube channel. Or when I when that the premium of this video, there's a donate button. You may use the dollar or whatever. You contribute anything. But I prefer you send me via the mobile man. Thank you, guys, from all of us from here in Zambia. 10 provinces, more than 73 tribes. We are one Zambia, one nation. See you in my next video. Peace.